thought I'd share some of my favorite worst first date stories from you guys. This first one's from Matt Jordan Cohen to you. Uh, she says, I was really into this guy, but I was so nervous on our first date that when he told me, you smell good, I replied, thanks. I used both my, <laughs> both my nostrils. <laughs> this one's from at Anna Banana, oh. 0626. Uh, she says, I was walking ahead of him and got into the car parked out front before he could open the door for me. He knocked on the window and yelled through the glass, this isn't my car. <laughs> it's a Mercedes Benz, I kind of like yeah. it. Whose car is this? <laughs> I'll wait. Uh, this one's from at Forever Smiling 2. Oh. She says, on my first date, uh, my first time even at a sushi place, I decided to order 13 rolls. I thought rolls meant individual pieces of sushi. The service had to push two tables together just to hold them all up. 13 rolls of sushi. <laughs> all right, whatever you say. Bring them, keep bringing them. I've been here before. This one's from at Snooky Cookie 16. Snooky Cookie. She says, at the end of the night, he acted like he was going in for a kiss, then put his whole mouth over my nose and blew into it. Oh. He laughed and said he does it to his dogs and calls it a puppy trumpet. <laughs> puppy trumpet. Puppy trumpet. Ah. Oh. What a garbage person. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, the puppet yeah. trumpet, man. That's at the end of the night. That has you ended the day right there. The old puppy the old trumpet. Puppy yeah. trumpet. <laughs> this one's from at uh, Hotovi. Hotovi. He says, the first time I met my wife, she was convinced there were 52 states in the U.S. When I suggested there were only 50 states, she called her brother, who confirmed that there were, in fact, 52 states. <laughs> hey, never gonna win, They're dude. married. You're They're never married. gonna win, dude. Yeah. He's married, yeah, you know. This one's from at Linda Childers One. She said, a friend once set me up on a blind date. I wasn't in a great mood because I had received a traffic ticket a few hours before. My day got worse when my blind date turned out to be the cop who gave me the ticket. Oh! What? <laughs> Come on. you. That's fate. That's fate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This one's from at M. Fonda. She says, on our first date, the guy choked on an omelet and blew an onion out of his nose. <laughs> he could have used a puppy trumpet. <laughs> That's what you use it for. Yeah, that's what you gotta get there. That's what you use it for, yeah. Uh, this next one is from our very own Quest Love. Oh. This is very interesting here. He says, I had dinner with Rosario Dawson. And let most deaf and his bros crash the party. Most actually uh, casually ordered her $500 birthday cake. It wasn't her birthday. The bill came to $1,400. I didn't have $1,400. That was it. That was it. That was it. There's only 280 characters. I couldn't go on. So. Yeah, yeah. But was that, 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 have you ever seen, have you ever tried to date, do you want a second date or no? I didn't get a second date, no. <laughs> Rosario. We gotta bring this up when she comes on, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest yet. <laughs> Tariq, you have a worst first date story? No, all my first dates were, uh, they went swimmingly. <laughs> swimmingly. Last one here is from. Uh, swimmingly! Last one here. Oh is from at Ash10G. She says, uh, we had a mini makeout, then he fist bumped me and said, nice work. <laughs> There you have it. Those are Tonight Show hashtags. To check out more of our favorites, go to tonightshow.com slash hashtag. So now I thought I'd share some of my favorite How I Quit tweets from you guys. Here we go. This first one is from at Neela Rocks. She says, before I left, I set my boss's computer so that every time he typed his name, it changed to, I like ponies. <laughs> This one's from at Kristen Rose 124 She says, my coworkers and I quit as a group. We told our boss off and left together in a limo we had waiting for us in the parking lot. It's like... <laughs> Party! Let's go to the unemployment line. Come on! <laughs> Who's paying for this? <laughs> unemployment conga line. <laughs> this one's from at Jeremy Rally YG. He says, my friends dressed as CIA agents, ran in the office yelling, we finally got you, then chased me out the door. I never went back. <laughs> That's how you quit. That's how you do That's it. That's how you do it right there. 
This one's from at the real Ricky. He says, I worked at Wendy's as a high school senior, asked for a weekend off for a college visit, and boss said he had to choose college or Wendy's. <laughs> uh, let me read that again. I screwed it up. What's going on? I have like a thing. You have a like thing in or something. Or something's in the back of my throat. Like maybe I have acid reflux. <laughs> maybe you have a little uh, frog in your throat. I hope you don't. What croak. is acid reflux? Do you have it here? I think it is in your foot. <laughs> no, I've got. <clears throat> Clear it out. Oh, go! I'll right. cover you. No one will know you're doing. I'll cover you. You'll cover me. Do some sound effects that makes it. Okay. No, we don't need music. Right. We don't need music. I'll cover. You won't be embarrassed because you're gonna hack up some. They won't hear. Go. Just give me some sound effects and then it'll cover up and no one will even know that I have. Okay, great. All right, let me do this right here. Here we go. Uh, what is that? This is, um... <laughs> anti-acid, like, anti-acid pill. If you antacid? have acid reflux. I feel like it's acid up here? No, antacid is this, right? Yeah, but that's what acid reflux is, is acid from your tummy that goes into your mouth. So I'm gonna take this thing, and in the, by the time the show's over, it's gonna work? <laughs> Don't tell me the brand. I'm not selling out, but just give me the antacid. All right, I'm gonna give you one. This is just silly. <laughs> Don't give it to me like it's illegal. <laughs> Come on, man. Do I chew it? Yeah, chew it. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's not gonna work at all, but let's try it. I don't need any more sound effects, thank you very much. Ready? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting like post-nasal drip. <laughs> what if I'm allergic to antacid? You didn't even ask me that. You can't just give me... Drugs? <laughs> non prescribed drugs? Hey, I gotta call my doctor first. It's not funny, dude. What was that? This one is from at the real Ricky. What does he have to say? <laughs> what's, he got? what's he got going on? He says, uh. <laughs> He says, I worked at Wendy's as a high school senior, asked for a weekend off for a college visit, and boss said I had to choose college or Wendy's. <laughs> Pretty easy. This is from at Leah 46 Leah. She says, guy dramatically slammed his work ID down on the table, then walked into the glass door on the way out. <laughs> Can I get a do-over, please? You could take this job. <laughs> Someone's punching him on the way out. It's a punching door. A cartoon punches him yeah. on the way out. <laughs> I'm tired of this job, you understand me? <laughs> He's getting punched. The cartoon is punching him. It's like, oh, it's a <laughs> Oh, you're too fast. I won't quit. I'll stay. No, I'll stay. I'm sorry. I quit. Uh, Harvey. <laughs> He's a poor guy. me all the way out, out of the door. <laughs> Once from at Sophia Beg, she says, told my boss I'm quitting to pursue my dream of not working here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Got to pursue your dreams. Got to follow go your for dreams. It. Oprah says so. Says Follow your dreams, man. This one's from at Whoopie Pie 10. He says, My boss said, See you Monday. I said, You will if you're on the beach in Cancun. Because <laughs> I'm out of here, dude. I'm on the plane. I'll be on the plane tomorrow. This time. I'm going to call him sick. <laughs> Late. This one's from at PJK2. He says, I sent an edible arrangement to my boss with a note that said, I quit. Eat me. <laughs> Come on. Huh? Not Come bad. On. Not bad. 
force him to eat an edible arrangement. This last one here is from at Fairfield Duke. Knock it out of the park. He says, I was caught smoking a joint. My boss said, you want to work or smoke pot all day? <laughs> Easiest decision I ever made. There you go. Never look back. There you have a little bit of Tonight Show hashtag to check out more of my favorites. Go to tonightshow.com slash hashtag. I thought I'd share some of my favorite my bad luck stories from you guys. This first one's from at Sane Mom of Many. She says, I thought I won the Michigan lottery after I hit all five numbers and the Powerball, then realized I was looking at a ticket from the week before. Oh. Just reading your ticket. <laughs> my gosh, I got all my numbers that I chose from the week before. Yeah, that's your ticket. Um, this one's from at Angel Fan. She says, when I was young, I went through a haunted house, fell down and twisted my ankle. I started yelling for help, but everyone thought I was an actor and stepped over me. But... That's pretty realistic. That's pretty realistic. She, she was like, she's in pain. She's like really crying, real tears. Oh, man. She was like, she's really in pain, oh, man. Wow. That looks like real blood. <laughs> this one's from at Bear Noe. Bear Noe. Uh, he says, out of habit from texting my wife, I ended a text to my boss with, I love you. He texted back, I love you too. Oh. Hey. It's kind of cute. Very gnarly. Uh, this one's from at Sonia Day 11. She says, My car was hit by a bathtub that fell out of a truck. They don't teach you to avoid falling bathtubs in driver's ed. It's like, a bathtub? Um, this one's from at Slurpee Girl. Uh oh. She says I was making mashed potatoes using an electric mixer. Uh, little did I realize I was scraping all the Teflon off the pan I was mashing in. I told my boyfriend the chewy black bits were pepper. God. Why am I so it sick? <laughs> it doesn't taste that spicy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're eating Teflon. This one's from at Jude Ree. She says, I was walking on a boardwalk at the beach and got slapped in the face with a huge slice of ham. <laughs> a, a seagull dropped it. Sure. sure. Come on, dude. Come on. That's, uh, that's not a ham slap. That's worse than, that's worse than uh, bird seagull pooping. Poop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's much worse. Maybe it was poop. <laughs> Giant ham seagull. Last one is from that uh, Colby Barron. He says, I left my ex a drunk voicemail to come over one night, but she never showed up. Turns out I sent the message to my mom. She did show up. There you go. There you have it. Those are Tonight Show hashtags. To check out more of our favorites, go to tonightshow.com slash hashtags. Hey.